he's spitting fire. Tweets coming in very thick and very fast. Wavinian Deti. Remember her? Oh, yeah, Wavinia, I know. She says corruption is rampant and cancerous. Soon the last person leaving Kenya will have to switch off the lights because the country will be bankrupt. I agree with Wavinia. Joy Doreen Bira, the pretty Ugandan anchor on KTN. Yes. Yeah, yeah. She says, yeah, Jay, why are you breaking? Why do we need to break? But he's a exactly. businessman, he's commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, Jacob Juma, oh my, at Kabiti's, he says, Muluka is now talking, he is taking on Kirubi for misadvising Uhuru. Uhuru must take political deci decision to stop corruption. Yes. Tweets are just going, it's, 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 it's on fire. Chris, yeah. you've been accused of being too close, to too soft on this government. You've heard it tonight. What those who are hard on the government have done? What did the former prime minister do when he was prime minister? Was corruption there? Did we eat poisoned maize? I, I think we got to be a bit serious in this country. And we talk corruption. I saw President Moi talking about corruption. I don't know again is what he was measuring corruption. I I was there. I know it. It's not better. And I'm not saying that it should continue. But I'm saying Kenyans together, mm. all of us, not been pointing a finger at one individual who has this whole new constitution protecting the thieves. You know that is propaganda, but, eh? No, but, and, no, and, and you no, know, no, it's the constitution you know, protects the thieves kind of, and, the, yes. and, and the innocent. Go on, Barack, go on. This, this is propaganda. <laughs> yes. And when this kind of propaganda is peddled too often and very vehemently and by individuals of high standing, like uh, my friend, the DJ, CK, yes. mm. it begins mm. taking traction. And there are people mm. out there who are actually going to start believing that the president's hands are tied. I think we want to, to stop that. You see, when he even comes here and uses words which are uh, as a son of an African gentleman who went to schools, <laughs> academies, distinguished ones, well, where sons of African gentlemen go, and we were taught not to use certain kind of idiom, <laughs> you, you can see the kind of corrupting effect and impact <laughs> it starts having that even people who start talking about these things to power are told don't bring here the B word, mm. yeah? that this is B something that you're bringing uh, around here in this government. The first thing and the easiest thing that the president can do is to weed his government out of his government any and every corrupt element. When you look at the things which have happened okay. in the youth fund, mm. what kind of... Uh, investigation can beyond the, what we have seen can the president you find need that he's capable of intervening that these are appointees and they're still that, in office and they're still in office and they sold oxygen not even oxygen actually oxygen you can package in uh, containers like, like these, these ones. ones yes they sold nothing they sold nothing yeah? and, and, and Lord, the other thing i noticed but, but perhaps not to cut yeah. you off but the other thing i noticed there's so much brouhaha outcry when the NYS scandal came out, 791 million, and maybe it's probably gone to 1.6 billion. We don't know how much it is now. But when a list of 52 MPs came out, split probably evenly between Cord and, 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 the and Jubilee. Uh, Jubilee. Cord and Jubilee. I there like. was a, a, a deafening silence. There is honor among thieves. So We saw some letter which is purportedly under the hand of an official of ODM. Yes. Telling his into his, his members of his party to go slow because this thing might catch us. Whether that letter is legitimate or not, we do not know. But they, I want to come back. They have denied it. They, they have, have denied, 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 denied it. So their exactly. silence betokens concept. But what I want to say, Chris, one of the things, one of the advantages that you have that we don't have. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yes, you meet the president a one. lot more often. You are an investor in this country. Mm -hmm. The president is an investor. The president is the head of state. When you meet the president, what we are asking you and what other Kenyans will be asking you, 
Don't go and tell the president, Mr. President, you are helpless. The Constitution has tied your hands. Yes. The Constitution has not tied his hands. He has my good friend who is the Attorney General of this country. He has good legal minds. He can go to the university, he can come to us. We'll demonstrate to the president that with the laws that we have, he is capable of using political power and his majority in parliament yeah. to ensure that we deal with corruption. But if you yourself, who is so powerful in the business, business and, and world, look so helpless as you look now, and, then and, I'm and very worried. here that this let's, is how you talk when you're with him. Yes, Jeff. None other than this gentleman here was the head of ASCC. Yeah, KSCC then. KSCC. Whatever yes. it was called, it had the same powers. Yes. They I hounded. They I hounded him out. No, no, they didn't remove you. They hounded you out. Hounded. Yes. They hounded you out because you tried to touch something that you are not supposed to. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I mean. Even if the president removed everybody in government today, is he going to get them from the opposition? He opposition must, he must opposition start is somewhere. rotten, man. He must start Where? somewhere. We saw it. The, 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 the opposition government. we are also going Where? to address. And the opposition For must be speak. But the president cannot sit there the, and be the, pretty. The last government, that the previous government. Him. Yes, Kibakis. Or the coalition. Not only there was chaos and the disaster in this country because of people stealing votes, mm. but corruption was, if not the same, bigger. Golden bag and all those and things. Anglo. Anglo that, that is called sidestepping issues. No, uh, please, it is sparring please. issues. Yeah. That uh, Chris Kirubi goes to State House, he tells the president, no. let them not talk no. about this I'm because there was Moi, no. there was Golden no. Bank, let there was Anglo Leasing. Mm. Let, let us not talk about let, the, let this because those people who are involved with this, nothing has happened, and therefore your hands no. are tied, and you no. can imagine them. No. This, you, this, this, you, these uh, you are councillors, you, you can imagine them sitting there. Please, telling President Kenyatta, consoling brother. him, telling I him that uh, you are all right, yeah? your hands are tied, let you are me, going to be impeached. Let me tell you. Go ahead, Chris, go ahead. And I hope the President is watching I hope this so too, because event. Please, Mr. President, mm. just get rid of all this garbage who are causing you headaches, Good. who are stealing Good. from yes. Kenyans. Now, what is the garbage is in the State talking. House? Now who are talking. stealing from Kenyans, we are tired good now you have the mojo. good man and listen yeah i told the president the same words recently when we had a meeting and i told him get rid of the rubbish whether they are near you or not as long as they cross a certain line and they cause you disaster get rid I, of I, them I, I honestly believe yeah. this country requires some martial law to deal with the corruption we have hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need to allow the president to then deal with it, and we'll tell him we will understand. We need the courts to come forward and they say we will allow convictions based on what will be brought forward. I, I, I believe if we do not do something out of the ordinary, yeah. we cannot go on pretending that president, in a normal way, he will file a thousand people in courts, and the thousand people will be looking at you and me and saying, you took me to court, but I'm still there. Chris, I'm driving Chris, my car. If the election was right. held today, yes. would the president be re-elected? Why not? Who else? Who else? Are the oranges any better? Maybe they are lemons. I what if what if a third party came up? What if which a thir third party? Unless you bring Donald Trump here. Speaking of which, but you you can be our Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> yes. I have to try this. I have to try this. Maybe this is the third time looking. Oh. Hey, hey, that is real fire. Yeah. Is here. If the election was held today, would the president be re-elected? Let let me tell you. I've said this before, and I'm saying it now. What we have in Kenya are not elections. What we have in Kenya is a coalition of ethnicities. And I can confirm to you that holding all factors constant, if 
an election were held today, the issues that determine election will not be whether there is corruption or anything else. The issues will be the man is from my tribe, the partner is from my tribe. And remember in Africa, the person who is elected the president is not necessarily the one who owns, who wins the votes. But the one who is announced to be the winner. Mm. I still believe that if an election were held today, the person who will be announced as the winner is Uhuru Kenyatta. Barack, I didn't ask Barack. Barack, your thoughts? Of course, uh, I think uh, PLO has put it uh, most succinctly that uh, the issues we are discussing now are mm -hmm. totally irrelevant mm. when it comes to Elections. people electing the person who will be their president. That uh, they will just ask one question. Where does he come from? What is his tribe? Mm -hmm. And does he have the correct uh, uh, formation of uh, tribal alliances? Mm -hmm. And this is regardless that it is President Kenyatta or it is uh, the leaders in the opposition, yeah. Raila Odinga and the rest, or that uh, even the third force that uh, somebody talks about, you, you have asked about a third yes. force. If that third force has got the right uh, uh, cocktail of uh, tribes, it will still sail through. Okay, so real quick, Barack, real quick. nothing. After Caricho, is William Ruto still the undisputed king of the rift? Uh, certainly, yes. I mean, we, we saw it. It had, again, nothing to do with uh, the complaints that uh, the people of Caricho exactly. uh, un 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 unleashed and unreeled uh, before him when he went there the first time. This was, as Donald uh, Kip, uh, Kip Korea uh, told us, it was uh, something like... Uh, the Kalinjin people have got a sacrosanct responsibility yes. of protecting their leader. And he went on to say that every tribe has got a duty to protect uh, its leader, no matter how that leader performs. That's totally irrelevant. Mm. <laughs> Chris, you agree? You know, these, these two guys are my friends. And we are all talking the same language. We pity the situation Kenya is in. We pity the young people seeing what is going on. And to be honest, I don't know how we can fence the young people from the corruption that is going on. We had a report that 60% yeah. of teachers are absent are from absent. classes. Examination right. cheating went up by 70%. Oof. 5,101 right. candidates so, did so not get their results. Because, because they think yes. they can get away with yes. it. And that is conservative. That is and, a conservative. And, and, they are and, and, and to be honest, those were the, just the few who were punished. I believe even those who passed, many of them, if you go back, mm. you'll find they were in the same camp. Absolutely. They did the they same just went caught. Theft. They just yes. went caught. And they're and celebrating. Theolo the theft. other poll by yes. Aga Khan University. Yes. 60% of young people said they would engage in corruption as long as they didn't get That's caught. True. What are we telling our children? You know, a young university student yes. who is a good friend of mine told me that in yeah. Kenya you don't need transformational leaders. You need transactional leaders. Hmm. And this is what is happening in this country. Everybody is looking at how money is being made. Yes. If you want to be rich, yes. if you yes. want to enjoy the good things of life, one of the things that pays and pays quickly is corruption, particularly if you join government and governmental institution. And this is a tragedy in this country, and yet we cannot afford the luxury of giving up. You know, Jeff, you are on air with some young son of a gun here. Mm. Who told you? He has done business, I think, in four years yeah, or three yeah, years. Less than four years. And he has got... Three billion. Three billion in his account. Yes. For him, it was pride. Yeah. But what I didn't see from you is ask him to account where he got this money mm. from. Mm. And two, to ask him, had he paid his taxes? Mm. You just let him shine. To be honest, stealing has been seen as an honorable thing to do. And therefore, the young people, when they see this kind of young people, who should never appear on your show when you have uh, this gentleman and this one and me, and then you have these thugs no, displayed here. Yeah. I, I mean, you dirty our bench. 